Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today we're diving into an AI powered PDF editor that promises to revolutionize how you handle PDFs. Yes, PDFs are the bane of all of our existence, but maybe no more. So let me show you UPDF, where you can annotate, edit, convert, sign, protect, organize, translate, and summarize PDFs across Mac, iPad, iPhone, PC, and Android, all with one license. And the best part, this is really great, it's priced at only 12% of the cost of Adobe Acrobat Reader. And we know how Adobe likes to charge for their services. Now, I wouldn't do a video about a PDF editor just by itself. That's a little bit ridiculous. So bear with me. What makes this one actually unique? Well, it's the AI component. The AI assistant is seamlessly integrated into the UI and the PDF experience. And for once, it's not a gimmick, which is really cool. Now I've been using UPDF's AI for a few weeks now and my one line is that ultimately we have ourselves a PDF editor that leverages the power of AI to enhance your productivity. I even have my pen to show that I'm being productive. Now I know what people think of AI. Some say AI is going to take their jobs but I don't agree with that. I think that it's going to be people who know how to use AI that will take those jobs. Of course, aside from AI functionality, UPDF comes with all the comprehensive array of features that you expect from a PDF editor, and I'll go through that in a bit more detail in a moment. Finally, disclosure. While UPDF has sponsored this overview, I've actually used UPDF back in the year of our Lord 2022 on my Windows computer because Adobe Accurate Reader is expensive and it is a pain. So enough waffle, I have a lot of stuff to show you. Let's get started by rolling the intro. So here we have the UPDF app. And of course you can do everything that a normal PDF editor can do. You can edit PDF just the way Microsoft Word can do it. If we open up this tab right here, we can tap the edit button and we can start editing the text and write whatever we want. This is super easy. There's lots of reading and annotation features. The PDF conversion is really easy to do. You can go back and forth between Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and it always remains high quality and accurate for rich format compatibility. You can of course do accurate OCR text recognition in case the PDF you have is actually an image and you can do that really quickly and easily. Signing documents is also super easy. Once you've got your signature in UPDF, you tap here and you can sign straight away and save the PDF. So at the end of the day, you've got a signature that is actually digitally signed with a date and time stamp for you to then share with somebody that requires that sort of information. At the end of the day, sometimes some companies don't accept digital signatures, but when you can provide a digital signature with the date and time stamp from a system like UPDF, it is generally accepted, which is a fantastic way to make these processes quicker and easier. There are also presentation mode capabilities and you can share PDFs via links really quickly and easily all within the UPDF app. Of course, if you're worried about protecting and securing your documents, you can put passwords on it and you can of course compress and make this smaller just in case you need to send more of these documents across via email because emails still have size limitations, which is pretty incredible at this day and age. You can crop and organize pages, you can move them around. There is no reason why you can't do anything to a document that you receive. There's also a seamless cloud integration for you to save your documents in the cloud and open it on other devices like your Mac, iPad or iPhone. This is again a very cloud-based PDF editor with a lot of functionality across multiple devices. So let's jump into the AI core features of UPDF. Let's start with summarizing a PDF using AI. Pressing the AI button right here, we can actually take this document and summarize it. So instead of reading 43 pages of the Measuring Broadman Australia program, I can actually ask questions about this document or I can ask the AI to summarize this in bullet points for me to quickly and accurately understand the document without having to read through it all. As soon as the document has been analyzed by the AI, you can see a quick summary of it in sections. This is much more readable than 43 pages, which is awesome. And I can 
ask questions about it. So let's say, uh, summarize the core findings of this document. So here we have the AI has given me the core outline. And of course I can read through it, copy and paste it and take this away and create something like a script for my dirt report that I do quite a lot. This is a really good way to analyze documents that get sent to you without having to read through hundreds of pages. But the great things about this is the ability to ask contextual information. And you can ask something like, what is the fastest broadband speed? And you can get the answer really quickly. This is contextual answers based on the document you're looking at right now. This is fantastic. But if you wanna ask the internet and use the AI to do so, you can use the chat functionality right here. Now, there are other features like translation. I can ask the PDF AI to translate this text into another language, let's say Korean, French, or Arabic. Of course, this depends on your use case, but it's using the AI to translate it in such a way that isn't just swapping words, it's actually creating contextualized sentences in another language. So if a fluent speaker of that language reads this document after it's translated, it'll actually make sense. So let's try the same thing on a scholarly article. You're gonna like this one. This is the benefits of playing video games. This is a little bit of an older article, but as you can see, the article has photos, images, and it's got you know, multiple tabs of text, the AI can still read through it and give me a summary. So here we go. The research background of this article is the widespread prevalence of video game play amongst children and adolescents with a focus on understanding both the negative and positive impacts of gaming. So let's ask a question. What are the benefits of playing video games? This is a great way to just get the core idea of what the article is talking about. And again, it's based on the PDF. It's not going out elsewhere. It is based only on the text that is found in this document. So here we go. We've got emotional benefits, social benefits, education benefits, theoretical and practical implications. All this information is based on this article. I cannot stress enough how useful this feature is when you're trying to write a script about a technology that you just need to find the right answers. And you might be asking yourself a question, well, this is my use case. How am I gonna ask it to the AI and get this information back? I absolutely love this feature and use it pretty much daily. And you can also connect multiple documents because if you've uploaded some of these PDFs into the cloud, you can query your cloud, your data, and ask questions about your PDF. Of course, this is a really great way to then ask something like this. Help me write a script for a video about the benefits. This will use the article here to construct a script for you to make a video about it. Of course, you're gonna read through this and adjust it as required. In any case, this is a really great way to get started in writing a script. It helps with that typical writer's block that you might get when creating content like this. I love it. It's a great way to start a project. And of course, again, it's done on the PDF that you've uploaded without any gremlins from other databases. This is the part that I really like. It's only the words that I want it to know about that it's going to give me context on. Now, it wouldn't be a YouTube video without a limited and exclusive offer. So check out the links below for a chunky discount on UPDF. And as I said before, I don't recommend things unless I've actually used them myself. So enjoy this one. I have also added some further reading links in case you want to be nosy. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.